Hello, all you amazing paint pouring friends of mine. So we finally got to it. This is the idea that I had. I don't know if anybody else has done it. I'm not gonna ever try to claim it as my own, but I do think that I'm the first person to do it, but who knows? So it is gonna be, I'm just gonna call it a waterfall open cup the restrainer, question mark, who knows? I think it's gonna be exciting. I think it's gonna be pretty cool, actually. My little buddy. Well, I'm in a garage, so that's why. So I'm just gonna use a straight black base coat. And the colors we're using today, you know, because of the season, I'm using a fluorescent green, a nice antique silver color, bright orange, and a extreme sheen purple. Looks super cool. There's no min wax in the colors, there's only silicone. And with that, we're gonna give this a little bit of a spin. That paint is pretty thick, so I'm hoping that it protects the canvas quite a lot. With that, let's get started, shall we? All right, so there's that. And I have no idea how this is gonna work, but we're hoping it ends up really cool. I don't even know if the couple keep the colors in there, but you know, for science, it was an idea I had and I, I wanted to try it. So for right now, it looks like it is holding the colors in there pretty well. Who knows what will happen as soon as I move it, though. It'll be kind of like breaking the seal. You know what I'm saying? So on that brilliant purple color, look at that. It's such a pretty purple right there. I'll just layer a little bit of green on top. And there's about the same amount of silicone that I normally use in all of these. The trick's gonna be releasing it, so hopefully. Whoa, that looks so cool. Okay. That is really cool looking. I can't believe the cells that came out of that cup. Do you see that? Look over there. That's nuts. Okay. Yeah, I think that we found something that's gonna be cool. So, a little orange. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's layer some of that silver in there, shall we? This antique silver is really cool. It doesn't have that same bright luster that a normal silver has, but this is so cool. Just watching the cells pour, pour out of it like that. Okay, this might be more of a feast for your eyes before it's done. So I, I mean, I have no idea what it's gonna look like, but goodness, I'm hoping it looks anything like what we're seeing pour out of those cups. It's so cool. All right, let's let that green go. Ooh, goodness. I don't know, I think I'm more excited than, than some of y'all are, probably. Oh. Cub needs to, there we go. Center it. All right, let's see. This is looking so cool. I just dripped paint. Darn it. The only thing I wished is I had a bigger cup to set this on top of. That's the only thing. But yeah, looking at this stuff pushed through the bottom, that's really cool. So I'll use a big stripe of green this time. Trying to create some of that contrast. We'll do silver again. There's that bright color and a dark color. 
see how the cup's not centered. So it was letting some of it go. That is so cool looking though. So pretty, so pretty. And because they're silicone in it, I know that there's gonna be additional cells generated when we're done after we spin this thing out. Cause that's another thing about these strainer pours. I, I'm used to tilting them. I've never done one on a spinner before. So this could be quite interesting. That is so cool. All right, let's get a little purple going. We'll put a big spot of purple. Some of that lime green underneath. This is just making some really cool colors here. I'm amazed right now. This is crazy looking. Let's not let... I don't want a lack of paint to be the reason that these colors get mixed and messed up. Because I didn't even think this would work, to be honest. It was just a for science moment. Just thought of it. I was like, this could be kind of cool. But honestly, I didn't know if it would work or not, but it seems to be working great. So let's allow this paint somewhere to move to so we don't lose the structure of these rings here. All right, let's continue. I'm thinking we need a little more of this bright orange going on. You know what? Yeah, we'll fill the whole cup up for the most part with that orange color. And then we'll release it. I don't know, guys. This is super pretty looking. I'm loving the way this looks. It might more be just the crazy cells that are pouring out of this cup. Cause that is some prettiness coming out. I'm trying to get more defined lines in these colors. That's so crazy. All right, this will be the, well, no. We'll do one big stripe of orange and then put a little bit of silver in there to top her off. And then maybe the last spot will be some lime green. This looks so cool, guys. Wow. All right, a little bit of lime green. Not too, too much, and now purple, and that'll be it. That's all the paint. And we're gonna, as carefully as I can get this off, pull it. This whole contraption deal. All right, so we got a bright purple ring flowing down the sides. But not if I get to this first. Okay, all right, that works. Rinse that. Well, my, 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 would you look at that? Let me use this torch, not torch, uh, heat gun. If there are bubbles, which there's a good chance there's not, just because if it flew, it flowed over the side of the cup, and then it flowed through the strainer as well. 
So there is a very good chance there's not bubbles in it. But what I do want to do is try, without distorting things, to center it. It looks pretty center. I think, I think we're ready to spin it, y'all. I don't know. Here's to hoping. Wish me luck, because this is, this looks crazy beautiful right now. So I'm going to spin it gently, trying to not distort it too, too much. I do want it to cover, but I don't want to mess it up to the point here. Maybe if I offer it a small amount of assistance here. Just a small amount. I'm not trying to mix colors. dark black but yeah this is cool and all the cell structure in the center all right that should have helped it just enough it's still maintaining those striations in it from the funnel not funnel strainer but there's some really wicked looking cells going on that is crazy looking now see, this is why I wanted it centered though. You see it's still kind of skewed off to this side a little bit more. But I am gonna hit it with a torch one last time. See what happens. I know these colors are layered pretty well. So we might get some interesting cell formations going on. I, I kind of don't mind that black spot in the middle because it's creating some really cool looking lacing. So I don't really mind it. And again, that bright green really impresses the way it's offering that contrast there. I love this thing. This is cool. I'm gonna have to do this, but maybe a different color palette than this. So tell me what kind of color palette you'd like to see in this style. I'm super interested to hear what you guys think. And I'll try to get one of those done as soon as possible. Because this was a really cool uh, use of the, the strainer, really cool use of that open cup too. All right, let me bring you guys down. I'm babbling right now. But this thing looks crazy good. Let me bring you down and I'll give you a close up. Look at this thing. Like, I don't even know, this thing came out crazy that extreme sheen metallic it almost looks like it's bubbling up and you got this really dark patch in the center but it's creating that like little lacing kind of galaxy cloud look I love how that extreme sheen just looks like it's boiling under the surface the way the cells formed in that are just insane. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.